So I'm making meatloaf today. It's one of his favorite things. And I'm gonna start with some onion that I'm just gonna saute, get it softened in the pan. I got about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm just gonna put these, this finely chopped onion in. And I'm just gonna saute for about five minutes till they get soft and translucent. And that will just give extra flavor to this turkey meatloaf that I'm gonna make. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped parsley, just a couple of tablespoons. It's nice to put something a little fresh in the meatloaf. So I've got this nice fresh parsley. I'm gonna just add to these onions. This just needs to go in for a couple of minutes. I kinda am a meatloaf snob and I don't like it to be too dry. I don't like it to be too juicy. Both of those are not good. So I really kinda perfected the art of just enough egg to make it kind of moist, but not too much. And that's the nice thing about turkey. Turkey is leaner. You don't get such a mushy meatloaf. There's nobody wants a mushy meatloaf. So this is the perfect consistency. This is Goldilocks meatloaf. All right. While that's finishing up, I'm gonna get the meatloaf put together. The great thing about meatloaf too, it's like three or four ingredients and you're done. So there's our pound and a half of ground turkey meat and breadcrumbs. Now my mama used to use salting crackers. You can crush up a butter cracker if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna use breadcrumbs today and I'm gonna use about a cup. That's part of your consistency. That's part of keeping it dry, making sure it doesn't get too wet. Fourth of a cup of ketchup and just one egg. This will help bind everything together and help the meatloaf keep its shape. About a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper. And there's your meatloaf. Pretty simple, huh? I'm gonna just mash this together. You could just get in here with your hands if this doesn't get together like you want it to, and I might do that in just a second, which I think I'm getting ready to, because that's how I do it. I'm gonna get it just mixed up. My mama always said clean hands make really good mixers, so that's how she would let us help in the kitchen when we were little. She'd usually let us, you know, a kid wants to put their hands in the food, so she'd usually let us do that. I guess I need to add these onions in. They're probably still nice and warm. So we got ketchup inside the meatloaf, we got onions inside the meatloaf, and then we're gonna put onions and ketchup on top of the meatloaf as well. So I am making a mess. And quoting another favorite of my husband who says, if you're not making a mess in the kitchen, you're not really cooking. So I am cooking. All right, that's looking just about right. I'm just gonna press this into the bottom of this little loaf pan. Just gonna make sure it's all around the edges. And I really think that I'm gonna need to wash my hands, so take my mess out of here, I'll be right back. So I'm gonna put some ketchup on top and then just a couple of tablespoons, and then I'm gonna take a spoon and evenly distribute it across the top. Gives it a nice flavor. Ketchup is good. There's a little sugar to go in there with all that savory, so that's a good thing. And I'm gonna chop up an onion. I'm not going to finely chop them. I'm just gonna give some kind of big thick slices on top. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top, a little salt and pepper, and they're gonna be ready to go in the oven. And this cooks for about an hour on 350. He's gonna be such a happy guy. It's probably gonna make him work more, you know? He figures the more he goes out in the field and works, the more he gets a snack when, he, when he's worked hard. A little salt and pepper on top. And into the oven we go. And in an hour, we're gonna have awesome turkey meatloaf. It's time to assemble these awesome turkey sandwiches, one for Garth and one for me. And I'm gonna make his the way I know he likes it, and I'm gonna make mine the way I know I like it. I'm just gonna do a little bit of mayonnaise for me, mustard for him. So I'm gonna do nice thin slices for me, because that's how I roll. And then I'm gonna do what we call Garth slices at home for him. <laughs> That's a cowboy slice right there. Okay, tomatoes and some lettuce. I like to put a little bit of the coleslaw on my sandwich. Sandwich is ready. I'm gonna slice them on the diagonal because that's how mama would do it. <laughs> okay, that looks like a manly cowboy sandwich.